Thermal pollution is the degradation of water quality by any process that changes ambient water temperature. A common cause of thermal pollution is the use of water as a coolant by power plants and industrial manufacturers. Other causes of thermal pollution include soil erosion. This will elevate water and expose it to sunlight. When water used as a coolant is returned to the natural environment at a higher temperature, the sudden change in temperature decreases oxygen supply and affects ecosystem composition. Fish and other organisms adapted to particular temperature range can be killed by an abrupt change in water temperature either a rapid increase or decrease known as thermal shock. Urban runoff — stormwater discharged to surface waters from roads and parking lots — can also be a source of elevated water temperatures. Ecological effects Warm water effects Elevated temperature typically decreases the level of dissolved oxygen and of water, as gases are less soluble in hotter liquids. This can harm aquatic animals such as fish, amphibians and other aquatic organisms. Thermal pollution may also increase the metabolic rate of aquatic animals, as enzyme activity, resulting in these organisms consuming more food in a shorter time than if their environment were not changed. An increased metabolic rate may result in fewer resources, the more adapted organisms moving in may have an advantage over organisms that are not used to the warmer temperature. As a result, food chains of the old and new environments may be compromised. Some fish species will avoid stream segments or coastal areas adjacent to a thermal discharge. Biodiversity can be decreased as a result, high temperature limits oxygen dispersion into deeper waters, contributing to anaerobic conditions. This can lead to increased bacteria levels when there is ample food supply. Many aquatic species will fail to reproduce at elevated temperatures. Primary producers, e.g., plants, cyanobacteria, are affected by warm water because higher water temperature increases plant growth rates, resulting in a shorter lifespan and species overpopulation. The increased temperature can also change the balance of microbial growth, including the rate of algae blooms which reduce dissolved oxygen concentrations. Temperature changes of even 1 to 2 degrees Celsius can cause significant changes in organism metabolism and other adverse cellular biology effects. Principal adverse changes can include rendering cell walls less permeable to necessary osmosis, coagulation of cell proteins, and alteration of enzyme metabolism. These cellular level effects can adversely affect mortality and reproduction. A large increase in temperature can lead to the denaturing of life-supporting enzymes by breaking down hydrogen and disulfide bonds within the quaternary structure of the enzymes. Decreased enzyme activity in aquatic organisms can cause problems such as the inability to break down lipids, which leads to malnutrition. Increased water temperature can also increase the solubility and kinetics of metals, which can increase the uptake of heavy metals by aquatic organisms. This can lead to toxic outcomes for these species, as well as build-up of heavy metals in higher trophic levels in the food chain, increasing human exposures via dietary ingestion. 
In limited cases, warm water has little deleterious effect and may even lead to improved function of the receiving aquatic ecosystem. This phenomenon is seen especially in seasonal waters and is known as thermal enrichment. An extreme case is derived from the aggregational habits of the manatee, which often uses power plant discharge sites during winter. Projections suggest that manatee populations would decline upon the removal of these discharges. topic cold water releases of unnaturally cold water from reservoirs can dramatically change the fish and macroinvertebrate fauna of rivers and reduce river productivity in australia where many rivers have warmer temperature regimes native fish species have been eliminated and macroinvertebrate fauna have been drastically altered this may be mitigated by designing the dam to release warmer surface waters instead of the colder water at the bottom of the reservoir topic Thermal shock When a power plant first opens or shuts down for repair or other causes, fish and other organisms adapted to particular temperature range can be killed by the abrupt change in water temperature, either an increase or decrease, known as thermal shock. Topic. Sources and control of thermal pollution Topic. Industrial wastewater In the United States, about 75 to 82 percent of thermal pollution is generated by power plants. The remainder is from industrial sources such as petroleum refineries, pulp and paper mills, chemical plants, steel mills and smelters. Heated water from these sources may be controlled with Cooling ponds, man-made bodies of water designed for cooling by evaporation, convection, and radiation Cooling towers, which transfer waste heat to the atmosphere through evaporation and or heat transfer Cogeneration, a process where waste heat is recycled for domestic and or industrial heating purposes, some facilities use once through cooling OTC systems which do not reduce temperature as effectively as the above systems. For example, the Petrero Generating Station in San Francisco closed in 2011, used OTC and discharged water to San Francisco Bay approximately 10 degrees Celsius 20 degrees Fahrenheit above the ambient bay temperature. <laughs> Urban runoff During warm weather, urban runoff can have significant thermal impacts on small streams, as storm water passes over hot parking lots, roads and sidewalks. Storm water management facilities that absorb runoff or direct it into groundwater, such as bioretention systems and infiltration basins, can reduce these thermal effects. These related systems for managing runoff are components of an expanding urban design approach commonly called green infrastructure. Retention basins, stormwater ponds, tend to be less effective at reducing runoff temperature as the water may be heated by the sun before being discharged to a receiving stream. topic See also Water cooling 
Water pollution Water quality